All right, now let's uh, let's talk about making your sectional perspectives. Um, we want to make these uh, really meaningful, and uh, the sectional perspective is like one of the best drawings that you can create. Uh, it really gives you a sense of not only the kind of atmospheric uh, qualities, the lighting qualities, the materiality, but it also gets at uh, not only the sectional qualities, but then you can you can start to talk about assembly and whatnot depending on kind of where your point of view is it uh, this drawing uh, can really be the kind of uh, the, the money shot that you're looking for uh, to get uh, all of your ideas really kind of very clearly delineated so I'm just going to set up a camera um, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be placing this but kind of you know, set some some angle to the project, and you can see that you know it's typical. You kind of get this um, very uh, small view. Uh, I like to put my cameras really close to the object, so then I just kind of uh, create uh, the wide angle by moving the uh, the viewport settings. And let's take a look at uh, the level of the camera. It's really important um, that you, you pick uh, a level for your camera that is not uh, too high, not too low, that it's, uh, I like to, my bias is to kind of pick a spot um, that you could actually occupy or, or it's kind of, um, it, it, it's datum, the horizon line is, is, is a place that could be occupied. So, you know, if we're in level zero, you know, I might want to make uh, the eye height and the target height to be, you know, negative, uh, what, negative 7, uh, seeing as that level 0 is at negative 12. So, and if I'm um, going to have it at level uh, 1, I'm just going to put this at about 5 feet. And this is somewhat shorter than maybe the average person, but uh, it's actually one of the tricks of architectural um, uh, images, cameras, is to actually lower the camera below what is kind of normal. Uh, so it'll make the, the space more expansive and uh, just makes for a, a, a better shot. So I'm just moving them both down to four. All right, so this really is the beginning of a sectional perspective, but not really a, a sectional perspective at all. So to do that, um, what you're going to do is you're going to turn on um, your section box uh, for this camera. So let me go ahead and uh, click on that. And you'll see this, this box uh, show up. And as you uh, move, you given these various arrows, you can kind of move it up to kind of cut uh, from below down. Some of these might be really hard to kind of grab because they're behind you in a way, so I'm, I'm just slowly dragging that. Uh, if you have some trouble kind of really figuring out, you know, which arrow is which, and then when they all get clustered like this, it really becomes uh, pretty difficult to figure out which one uh, you should be grabbing at any given time. I'm going to keep it there, but if you have trouble with that, just go to um, the level uh, perhaps you, you created this on, or maybe the site plan might be better for me. And then you right click on the view, and show camera. Oh, that's not that one. Let's right click on this one. All right, this must be it. Uh, I'm going to do something uh, that will just help me understand this is going to be my sectional perspective so it's really good to uh, also start labeling these cameras because once you get more than a couple uh, you start to lose track so again I'm going to go back to the site plan and I'm going to right click on this and say show section box so essentially this is all that uh, it'll show uh, this being uh, that cut line and then you know you can drag these however you need if you want to kind of block some of the background uh, noise you can kind of pull this all the way to the building I'm just going to leave it about right there 
Um, and let's go back to uh, the view. Got to go uh, find my a couple of my forms. Disappeared. All right. All right. So uh, I might still kind of tweak. what I'm cutting through, I'm going to try to get it so I can see this kind of threshold. This, all right, so now I'm, I'm getting really close. Um, but I'm finding that maybe maybe I want to move the camera down, so I'm just going to tweak a few things. I'm going to get down at level zero, so this would be what, negative eight feet. And I'm making both of these the same so I don't get some strange parallax. The parallax can really make things look awkward, and I, I covered this in another video. Uh, so once you you know you orbit around and uh, find your view, and then the last thing you might do once you've you've kind of found that kind of sweet spot, you know, and it's always like, what do I want to kind of show? Do I want to show this space? Do I want to show my exhibition space as the major driver? Uh, I'm just going to keep it maybe right in here. And then once I find that kind of angle, then I'm going to go back and change this to 8 feet. So again, I lose uh, any kind of collapsing. All right. Yeah, good enough. Once you've found your spot, you might want to use um, this to save orientation and lock view uh, so that you don't just kind of fumble around in the in the orbit, you know, in some, in, and lose it uh, at the last moment. Okay, and once you get your box uh, figured out, you can just go ahead and hide that element. And uh, and take a look. Maybe turn on the shadows. See what you're getting there, and that's it. Sectional perspective. Um, again, uh, really, you know, the camera position is really uh, utmost importance. Um, and in fact, uh, for this one, uh, I might want to push the uh, camera a little bit closer. Uh, to now that I've cut the section. So uh, again, this is just like I did show section box. I might show camera and start to pull that uh, a little bit closer to the subject if I don't. And then I'll just pull this. Now things are getting a bit warped, so um, I don't know. Um, it's something I still might kind of play with. See how how close to this thing I really want to get. Maybe walk back a bit. Just kind of take a look at some slightly different angles. But anyway, to each his own. Uh, but do try to make the most out of this. Uh, don't don't treat the section perspective as if you're kind of um, omnipotent and looking down on a model. Um, and, and oftentimes that's what I'll see when I see aerial shots and I see sexual perspectives is you're not really occupying the space and what you're trying to do with the sexual perspective is kind of occupy the space even though it, it is an abstraction it's kind of cutting through your building uh, you want to kind of feel what it'd be like to be in there or, or be in this space you know or or another level of your building